Hey Joe, thank you so much for coming to the event. I had a blast filming with you, but I've got a special challenge for you. This is what I wanna see you do a video on next. I want you to use my 500 gallon smoker. I want you to cook a pig's head because it's something I've been thinking about doing for a long time. I've never seen anyone do it. So I want you to do it, post a video about it, and then you can have a challenge for me, something that maybe I've never done before. I'll give that a shot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. We're gonna be cooking a pig's head. I decided to actually cut the pig's head in half. So I did that before I got in here. I just acquired this 500 gallon uh, fat stack. Some guy just left it here in Michigan. It's weird. What? <laughs> Thanks to uh, Jeremy Yoder, uh, Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm going for a Cuban style injection. Gonna be doing like a lechon. Gonna be using oranges and limes, apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, salt, pepper, garlic, MSG, and a little bit of Lari's, brown sugar, some cilantro. I'm gonna throw it in the bullet, blend it as very fine as I possibly can. First, I'm gonna zest a couple of the limes and oranges into this. Do one. This is apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic clove, salt, pepper, Lari's and MSG. Cilantro. And a little bit of mint. Okay, this is gonna be loud, folks, so sorry. So I'm gonna cook on the far left side, closer to the stack for the pig's head, because I need it cooler. And on this side, I'm gonna be running a brisket experiment. Now, I'm not gonna use all of this for the injection. I'm gonna use some of it as a mop as well. All right, this is gonna get loud for a second. Viewer discretion advised, if you didn't come here to see a pig's head, then honestly, I don't, I don't know what you're doing here. I got rid of the brains, so you guys don't have to worry. I don't think you want to see the business end of this. Oh, you guys get to watch me inject my pork. Okay. Stop. I'm gonna be spritzing this with um, apple cider vinegar and mopping it uh, with the rest of this uh, slurry that I made earlier. Well, there's brain matter on that one though. Okay, uh, coat that. I'm gonna be cutting off the ears because they're just not gonna hold up well. It's very rubbery. Well, yeah, it should be fat. If you guys thought I was a professional, you Fucking sadly mistaken. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Weber. I really hope Weber the pig really catches on. I think this is perfect. Great name. Good job, Sam. Along with this pig's head that I'm doing, I was going to do an experiment with a brisket. So ran out, got a brisket, trimmed it up last night, salted it, put it in the fridge overnight, and now I'm just gonna top it off with black pepper and a little bit of Lari's, and I'm going to throw it on the hot side of the smoker, and I'm going to try to do a hot and fast, like five hour brisket. Okay, a little bit of Lari's. All right, that's pretty much it. It's going point side towards the fire on the hot side of the, uh, the fat stack, aiming for around 300 degrees during this whole cook. Okay. I'm gonna be running maple because I'm hoping that'll help the Weber's hat, yeah, <laughs> absorb a little bit of a maple flavor. When I trimmed the brisket yesterday, the beef is gonna get ground down for smash burgers, but I separated a lot of the fat. This is going in this tin. It's going on that smoker. I'm making smoked beef tail. It's as simple as putting it in here water i'm just throwing the tallow there six hours later so what does everybody think got pull back on the jaw pull back on this on the cranium over here 
Wrapping it made this a little mushy. Do you think I should torch it? All right. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look bigger. Yeah. Yeah, give me a big piece. Yellow. That's good. You like it? It's like pulled pork. Mhm. Mm really? Mhm. Mm Probably. Yeah, <laughs> we can cut into that brisket in a minute. I'm just gonna pour some of this in there. That sauce is really good. I oh casserole. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just chopping up all the uh, the jowl meat there. Throw it on this here tortilla. It's gonna be nice. Uh, silent. A little bit of that in there. A little bit of hot sauce. A little bit of barbecue sauce. And you guys are about to witness something here. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for showing up. I miss having tacos in my mouth. It's so good. That's all you miss having in your mouth? Mm-hmm. A nice juicy taco. We'll get to the brisket in a second. I'm eating a face. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So I didn't get as good of a bark. And I'm thinking that's because it didn't have enough time to like really crust over in that in that short period. That looks pretty dry. Okay, club. It's closer to jerky than anything. Jeremy, last week you challenged me to smoke a pig's head. So, I went through with it. I got a pig's head, I shaved the pig's head, and then I had to split it in half. I cooked it live yesterday. The entire thing was a giant learning experience. Now, I have a challenge for you. I want you to make a smoked beef wellington. The entire thing done on a smoker. From searing the Chateaubriand using the coal bed to controlling your temperatures, making sure that the Chateaubriand is at the right temperature and your puff pastry is crispy on the outside. This is your challenge. If you choose to accept it, I'll see you there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to Joe's channel. He's producing a lot of great content and you're gonna be glad that you did. That's about it. Bye, everybody.